So this article is titled, I was a crappy parent of toddlers. I wrote a quote down um, because it was like the very first paragraph really resonated with me. So quote, I was irritated, bored, and reactive. I had no patience for my kids' efforts to put on their own shoes or zip their own coats. I was always in a rush to get on the next activity, annoyed by their slowness. I found sitting on the carpet doing puzzles or playing games utterly mind-numbing. Um, I lost my cool literally every time my kids spilled their cups of water across the table. Um, so this really spoke to me because I, I, I don't know what it is about the toddlerhood thing, but I just, I find myself getting so annoyed. And then like, you know, and then you have the mom guilt that comes in, right? It's like, Lisa, how dare you be annoyed by your toddler asking you a million questions at six in the morning? Like you should love every minute of it, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I, I don't know what it is. Um, I just, I feel irritated with her, just like not with her as like a person because she's perfect, but like with the fact that she can't walk as fast or she mm-hmm. like, you know, drops things on the floor, or whatever. And I know like in my wise mind, like I'm totally aware of the fact that of course she's going to spill things. She's going to be three in next month. Right. And, you know, and plus like I have all these mental health things going on with me too. And so, you know, triggers and, and all that fun stuff, all that really fun, <laughs> really fun and perfect mom stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I just feel so bad all the time. I don't know what it is about toddlers. I think honestly, the stalling is what kills me the most. Mm -hmm. Uh, Because I, you know, like it's when it's bedtime, like we have a routine, but she's almost three. So she's learned how to like make the routine last as long as possible. Yes. Um, And so like when I ask her to pick a book for me to read, she'll literally name every piece of anything in her room. Like she'll be like, Mm -hmm. look at that. Do you see that? Look at that. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, pick a, pick a book, pick a book. And then like, and then, um, my husband is sitting there and, you know, and I, I feel bad because he's like looking at me and he's probably thinking that, oh my God, she's such a terrible mom. Like, how can she be like trying to rush our two-year-old? But it's just, it's bedtime, you know? Yeah. Mommy's done. Yeah. And then at six in the morning, like I, I, she starts asking me questions and then she doesn't stop asking me questions until like I close my eyes to sleep. Like, it's just, you know, and so at 6 a.m., like I haven't had any medication or coffee. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just like, oh my God. (laughs) And then she, it's not that she asks a lot of different questions, but she'll repeat the same questions like a lot of times. Um, And then she'll like rephrase them in different ways uh, to make it kind of different, but it's the same Mm -hmm. question. And so I'm like, I, I just told you, like, this is whatever. And then she'll. So inquisitive. Yeah. She, I love that about her. Like, I love how inquisitive she is, but also like, I'm just like, okay. (laughs) Well, yeah, the other day, oh, this is when we were getting out for our field trip. It was raining. And one of the kids, it's like, she's like five. Why is it raining? And I could have been like, oh, well, because there are clouds in the sky and the clouds have water molecules. So when the water molecules get too heavy, they fall. And instead I just, my brain was done because it's the end of the year. And I said, well, what do you think? <laughs> just like, you, you tell me, what do you think? <laughs> Cause yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. That's actually one of my hacks is uh, when, when I feel myself getting annoyed with her asking me stuff, like I'll ask her, um, what do you think? Or like, you tell me. And then like mm-hmm. that, that kind of gives me a second and then she'll come up with her own answer. And then I'm like, Oh yeah, like I hadn't thought of it that way or something. Maybe so That's my yeah. little mom hack for, for if you find yourself getting annoyed. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel awful about it, but just, I don't know. And then the way I choose to parent Lily is I, I know she's only, she's only two and she's going to be, I can't, I have to stop saying she's only two. She's three. I know. Cause she's, she's almost three. three. Yeah. Like, in a few like- weeks. <laughs> It's insane how fast it goes. In a few weeks. So she'll be three and like, this is perfectly normal. And she's also, but she's also not developed enough to understand like big words and big sense of whatever. But like, I, I like to explain everything to her because there are some things she does remember and there's some things that she will later repeat. And I'm like, oh my God, you're so smart. So like I, you know, um, so I explain things. So I think I, I'm not just. I'm not annoyed that she keeps asking me questions, but I, I get annoyed with myself because I have to keep coming up with like the answers. Mm -hmm. And then I push myself to like, I never want to be 
the mom that gets fed up and it's just like, because it, blah, you know, because mm-hmm. this is just how it is. So like, I always push myself to answer it eloquently and tell her all the stuff and whatever. But like, I just, I get so tired of my own voice. <laughs> um, there have been times with my kids and it's always at breakfast when I'm trying to drink my coffee and they're <laughs> asking me all these things. And there's been a couple times I'm like, guys, mommy has not had her coffee yet. And I will answer this, but I need like five minutes to drink my coffee. And they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> mine, mine are a little older because I'm like, mommy's brain has not woken up. <laughs> I need a minute. I'm more than happy to talk to you about this. You know, and I love that they're asking questions. And just like you, I always want to be that parent who always answers and not just like, oh, leave me alone. You're annoying. You're bothering me. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, but sometimes I'm like, guys, I'm my brain is not on it's not on yet (laughs) yeah that's happening too i actually took a note from our um sick moms episode um and i told lily the other day that i wasn't feeling good Mm -hmm. (laughs) hoping that like whatever but she's she's still too young to completely understand but she was i mean she you know she was nice and i was like can we just snuggle on the couch like can we just instead of asking me about everything in the world and mandating an answer you know it's just um yes i don't know i think i think what irritates me is like the the added mental load um so i'll i guess i'll go back to the article so she's basically talking about how you know she was shaming herself and she had a lot of mom guilt because she just didn't really enjoy this particular stage the other stage of her kid's life and she went to a therapist and she was like i don't understand like i'm just not feeling the joy that i should be feeling should be feeling and stuff and um so basically the her therapist said um and this is another quote said uh, vanessa different people are good parents at different stages of their kids lives some people are wonderful with babies and awful with teenagers some people are bored with toddlers but adore adult children you have to give yourself permission not to love every second of every stage of your kids lives this was like life-changing for me because i was like wait that's true like she's Mm -hmm. she's gonna have such a long life and so many things Maybe I don't have to be in love with every second of every day, right? You know, it's just, I mean, she's, they are stages. Like right now from like, um, from like two to two to four, it's the toddler stage, right? But there's so many more years, right? And so many other things. So like, maybe I don't have to be putting so much pressure on myself to be I have to be happy. I have to be happy. I have to be, I have to love Mm -hmm. everything. I have to, you know, cause I mean, I'm, I'm also struggling with my own stuff. So like I, I read that quote and then I was like, okay, I really need to start giving myself some more grace here. It's only human to feel irritated sometimes, you know, Mm -hmm. especially when it's 6am and like, I haven't even taken my, like, I haven't taken my best friend Adderall yet. And I like, you know, and, or my antidepressants yet. And so I'm just like struggling to get out of bed and struggling to get the coffee on. And then Lily's already like a sunshine flower. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I don't know. So I think toddlers have like a secret Uber food, Uber eats app where they like get (laughs) espresso delivered, like through their windows. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know where she's getting all this coffee. I, I think so. This house is 20 years old. So I'm thinking like somebody stashed cocaine in the ceiling like a long time ago, <laughs> and and somehow Lillian is is getting into it. I don't know, but like she's just she's always just you know she's been sick the last two days. She's got a fever today um, and yesterday, and so she's she's like more tired, but she's still like super energetic at the same time. Of course, so like, she does not. There's no stopping. She does not stop. Yeah. And I, I mean, I love her to death, but like there are some days where I'm like, please stop talking to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? like, online they have, there's like songs and there's poems saying like, oh, you're going to miss this. You're going to want these days back. And yes, it's true. I'm totally going to miss having Clara B2 where she was so small. I could pick her up and carry her everywhere. And mm-hmm. I'm going to miss putting them in the little front cart thingy when I'm going grocery shopping like yes I understand like yes but not every moment am I going to miss I am not going to miss the screaming and the poop in the bathtub (laughs) um the long nights where they will not go to sleep and I'm Mm -hmm. getting up off the couch 10 times putting them back in bed like those moments I'm not going to miss those like we we have to go through them that's just a part of parenthood you know but yeah like I 
I don't, I think there's too much pressure sometimes to like, you need to enjoy every moment. You need to make sure you're having fun every day and you're making a craft and you're making granola bars from scratch and you're scrapbooking and whatever. And you're taking them to swim lessons and you're taking them to, I don't know, yoga with goats. <laughs> you know, we can only do so much. And so it's like, we, we need to do like less and then just enjoy doing less. And it, giving ourselves permission to not be thrilled every moment of the day. Yeah. You know, we, we do have feelings. We have emotions. They go up, they go down. And sometimes we're annoyed with our kids. Like I, I don't, I haven't said this, but I'm like, I love you so much, but I do not like you right now, <laughs> but I love you. I'll do anything for you. Yeah. Um, like I, yeah, I felt that I would never like, obviously I would never say that out loud. Oh, no. Like, yeah, no, I've said, I've said it to myself. So like, I just, like I look at Holly and I'm like, I love you so much. I want to like rip my heart out, but mm -hmm. damn. <laughs> you're being a jerk right now. <laughs> like you're being a little like, can you please shut up? Like, <laughs> um, especially cause Holly, like she doesn't cry. She screams. Like, I don't think I've heard her cry in a really long time. Like she just screams mm -hmm. and, um, she has this like annoy, like, ah! like if like, I don't feed her fast enough. Mm -hmm. So like all day, like that's what I hear. And so I'm just like, I'm like, I love you, but you know, um, <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so yeah, um, I just, I really liked this article because it, it made me feel really seen. Like I was like, oh my God, like I'm not, I know we keep saying this, like you're not alone, but mm -hmm. it's very hard to, um, it's very easy to forget that you're not alone, right? Like even, mm -hmm. even me who like says it to everybody I meet, like, you're not alone, you're not alone, you're not alone. Like it's, it's hard to tell that to myself and believe it for myself. Um, and it's nice to see someone else take, not necessarily complicated feelings, but just take unspoken feelings and put it into words. And it's like, mm -hmm. Yes, that's exactly it. Like, like, I didn't know how to say it, but that's exactly how I feel. reads a book and then like for me she'll be on my lap and then for Paul she'll be in bed and then um and then that'll be that and then I usually get out because if I don't f off after I read the story like I'm never leaving her room like she's very mm -hmm. good at like keeping me there and I'm very very bad at like being firm about like no no like mommy's leaving like so I have to leave because I won't if I anyway if I don't Paul like pushes me out the door he's like okay okay <laughs> Um, so we have this routine and like, I'm just, so I, I have the book and I'm like, okay, sit on my lap. And she just like, she jumps onto my lap and ends up like punching me in the face by accident or like she's kicking uh -huh. me and she's like wiggling and stuff. And I'm like, damn, like if you were just a little bit older, like I'm sure you could just like sit there and quietly listen to the story. You know what I mean? And so like, I love reading to her, but also like it hurts when I get like kicked Yes. All the time. Yeah. And like, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to keep her on my lap when she's constantly. So like, I'm, I'm trying to read the story with the, like all the love I can muster in my voice. But then at the same time, I'm struggling with this like fish out of water situation. So like, you know, like, I don't know. I just, um, I'm great with babies. Like I'm a mate, like I, I feel like a rock star mom with Holly, like all the time. Like, I'm like, man, when Lily was that little and Holly, like, I'm like, I got this. I'm like super mom. Like I'm the best. But then Lily turned two. And then I was like, oh my God, like, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm that great of a mom anymore, you know? And it like freaked me out. Cause I was like, what is this? Like, why am I getting annoyed? And why am I getting frustrated? You know, and so I'm talking to my psychiatrist and I'm like, I mean, I guess we got to keep going off on my meds or something, you know? So like this article was the first time that I was like, oh wait, I think this is like a normal thing, mm -hmm. you know? So it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to like dope myself up all the time. Like maybe, 
maybe this is just normal and it's okay. And I should just, you know, I, so I'm not in love with the toddler stage. Like that doesn't mean I'm going to hate every other stage of her life. It just means that right now it's difficult. You know, it's hard mm -hmm. to wrangle a toddler and I I'm tired. And especially because of the depression and like the not eating, I'm like very weak right now. So like when she's jumping all over me, like I, I literally can't, <laughs> I don't have the strength, you know? Yeah. So it's just, I don't know. It's just a hard, a difficult stage of life, I guess. But um, that reminds me of when we were, uh, we did that episode with your friend, One Main Mama. And yes, was, you know, Melissa. Yeah. yeah, and she was talking about how it's just a difficult stage of life. But mm -hmm. it, you know, stages, I mean, that's the point is it's a stage and then it ends, you know, and then you're mm -hmm. on to the next stage and the next stage will be better. It's just, you know, every stage will probably bring its own challenges, but I mean, it'll also bring different good things too. You know, everything is right. Every stage is different. So, um, yeah. I, I'm glad I read that article or I found it because now I feel, um, I feel a lot better about myself <laughs> than I, than I did. I was starting to, I was starting to think I was a monster for I was like, Oh my God, am I, I'm a terrible person. Well, I think it's totally normal to get annoyed, you know, with your kids because I don't know. They're, they're, they're not like adults yet. They don't know how to do things. And you're like, why can you not put your sock on? Like, it is not that difficult. <laughs> um, so I, often I will just have to like close my eyes and just breathe really slowly because I'm trying to like not freak out. Yeah. Because I get annoyed. Now, okay. So the other day we planted a garden with the girls and it was supposed to be this beautiful thing. You know, the girls wanted to plant flowers. I'm like, all right, great. So we go, we get to the store and of course they were fighting over what flowers we were going to get. And I'm like, I literally don't care. Just pick something. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Okay. So we were fighting at the store. That was fun. You know, all back in the car, come home, we pick out a spot and we, it was kind of like near where like the woods is. And I don't know if that's where all the mosquitoes like to live, but the mosquitoes were like out to kill that oh, day. No. Yeah. And normally because I have my glasses on, the bugs don't get in my eyes but this one mosquito got in between my lenses and my eyes so it, so it was trying to like it was like if you guys you got to go on youtube and watch us because you gotta see what i'm doing there, it was like going like this it was like ah! it was like the mosquito was freaking out i was freaking out and my girls were just at that moment was like this is a great time to start fighting about who gets to plant the next flower and oh i'm like God. trying to get this thing out of my eye so I grab my hand, which is covered in dirt, and I wipe my eye. I'm yeah. pretty sure all that did was squish the mosquito into my eye, but I'm not mm -hmm. sure because I got dirt in my eyes. So then my mm -hmm. eyes started burning. Yeah. And then I'm like, Clara. And I'm like, this is not that hard. I'm like, Clara, just stop fighting. Just stop. And like they're like, ah! they're you know, having it having it out. And I'm like, Clara, go get the bug spray. What? <laughs> She's like so spacey. Clara, go inside the house get the bug spray what do you want where is it like, it's in the house it's on the counter go inside and go get it while i'm yeah while i'm trying to like rub the thing on my eye and then my other one starts yelling because she wants chocolate covered raisins and she wants them right now and i'm like i can't see and then finally the other one comes out and i'm like okay come over here with the bug spray i can spray myself and so she sprays and she's just standing there, like showering in the bug spray. And I'm like, could you just get over here? Yeah. And then she took like five minutes to get from the porch to where I was. And she's like, oh, look at that butterfly. <gasps> There's the garden hose. I'm going to water the grass. <laughs> like, I am like not having fun. <laughs> this, is, this is not fun. And I was like so annoyed. But then after we got that fiasco finished, the girls stand back and they look at their garden and they're like, wow, this is so great. And they like went to Michael later, like we planted a garden. It was wonderful. They didn't remember anything. And I'm like, half my makeup is off and a half of my face is covered in dirt. And I was like, we had a two totally different experiences out there. But yeah, I was, I was really annoyed with them, but I was trying also to not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing for me is like the, like if she's, if she's feeling an emotion or something, like I'm, I'm great with like other people's emotions. I'm an empath. I'm like super like sensitive. I'm really like super in tune with people. Right. But 
I mean, she's a toddler, so like I'm trying to talk talk her down and I'm trying to whatever, but then she's like yelling over me and mm-hmm. I'm, like she can't hear what I'm saying or like if, you know, or and then she's always like talking back to me too. Like not talking back, like yelling at me, but she'll she's constantly coming up with like an alternative to what I said and stuff and like she she doesn't listen to me, so I think that also bothers me. Like I feel like when she's a little bit older, old enough to know not to interrupt when people are talking to you and stuff. Like, I feel like those big emotions, I'll be able to handle those a lot better because like mommy will talk and then Lily will talk and then, you know, kind of thing. But right now it's just, she's just like, Wah! and so, like, you know, and so I'm just like, I, you she's know, like a Muppet. Yeah. I think for me, I think like it wasn't, I don't want to say it wasn't as hard. I think I was more prepared for toddlerhood just because that was what I studied in college. Like we did the whole child development thing. Mm -hmm. And then I worked with toddlers in a classroom or daycare setting really for so many years that like, I knew what to expect. And like, I wasn't like shocked, like, Oh my word, I can't believe you just did that with your diaper. Like Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh yeah, I've seen this before. Like what? You you think that's a mess? You should have seen the last (laughs) kid. So I think like I was more prepared, but now that my kids are getting older, so like Claire just finished first grade, Molly is going into K-5 in the fall. Like with Molly, I still like know all the psychology stuff, like the back of my hand. And I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, I got this. But Claire is starting to get a little bit above where like my expertise goes. Mm-hmm. It's starting to get a little beyond me. And I'm like, okay, wait, why is she doing this? <laughs> why is she like, did, and did I mess up? Did I do something wrong? Mm-hmm. Um, and that's where like, I start relying on other people. Like, yes, I'm a teacher, but I only go up to K five. And after that, like kids are totally different every year. They're totally different kids. So that's yeah, where I rely on so much. And that's the problem is like, I like we can never keep up. So in this article, she mentions that she interviewed um, a doctor, Tina Payne Bryson. Um, and the quote from that interview was, history is not destiny. So it means two things. It means one, how we were raised doesn't need to dictate how we raise our kids. And then two, how we parented yesterday or last year doesn't need to dictate how we parent tomorrow or next year. So like yeah. these kids are always changing. And so like, you know, we're always learning, you know, so if one day we screw up and we, you know, our kid is whatever, like something happens and we can't handle it, like it's, you know, tomorrow's a new day 